Okay, folks, hello there. This next item we're looking at is an internal hard drive made by Seagate. It's an internal desktop hard drive, not a laptop drive. This is an internal desktop drive for like a unit, you know, that has a tower and, and a separate monitor and such. But anyway, it's a little bit bigger than a laptop drive because this is actually a three and a half inch. The laptop drives are two and a half inches smaller and they're not as thick. So it's pretty good construction here. Seagate has been around for a long time. So like I said, this is a Seagate hard drive and it's model number, it's a three terabyte drive and it's model number ST3000, D is in David, M008. It's a pretty standard drive as far as internal hard drives go. It's, what's good about this, it's not a solid state drive or an SSD drive, it's a regular hard drive that spins. So it's got a, a spinning uh, plate inside this that spins. And this one is three terabyte, like I said, and it happens to spin at 7200 RPM. There's some that spin at 4500, I think, RPM. And then there's some spin at 10,000 RPM, which is actually a lot faster. So the faster the drive spin, the faster it can access your data. So this is 7200, which is, it used to be fast back in the day, but now it's, it's medium to high. Because like I said, you can get 12,000 RPM spinnable drives. And of course, the solid straight drives, they don't spin at all. They're like RAM. It gets accessed immediately from within the unit itself. So it doesn't spin. It just accesses it like RAM instantaneously. So this is a spinnable hard drive or just a regular hard drive. And the size of this one is three terabytes. And which is a pretty good size. You can fit a lot of stuff on it. The reason I use something bigger than, you know, 500 megabytes or 500 gigabytes and, and things like that. I like to go to at least one terabyte or 1000 gigabytes because, you know, one 1000 gigabytes equals a terabyte. So this is three terabytes, so it's 3000 gigabytes. So it enables you to store a lot of, a lot of stuff. So it's great for media because it's what I use them for. I do 4K video. And with 4K video, it takes up a lot of room. So you need a drive that could hold all that video. So that's why these are a real good call for that kind of stuff. You're able to fit a lot of video in there, pictures, or sometimes audio too, because I work with a lot of... I do a lot of video and then I do a lot of multi-track audio, which means I won't have just one stereo track. I'll have like maybe 24 tracks of audio. And that takes up a lot of room. So. The more room I have, the better. And I could have it just on one drive rather than being spread out through a bunch of different drives. So you can also use this as your internal boot up drive, which is more than enough room, you know. For your boot up system, you don't need a drive that big. But so, but you could use it as a boot up drive and store stuff on it also. But I like to use it strictly as a storage device just to store my data on here. And my data would be pictures, in 4k video which takes up a lot and that's why I picked the three terabyte and then also this is a a SATA interface so it's six a SATA interface which is actually pretty quick it's faster than your old IDE and then faster than uh, USB 2 or USB 3 SATA is pretty fast I think this one goes six gigabytes per second or something like that and then also it's it has a 64 megabyte buffer, which means if you have to search for, or actually if you're reading or recording on this drive, it's got a 64 megabyte uh, buffer. And what that means is if your drive isn't fast enough to access the data or write the data on the drive itself, you have a 64 megabyte buffer that it will write for 64 megabytes before it actually writes onto the drive. So it gives you a little bit of time, even if the drive's not fast enough to catch up with what you're writing or reading. So it gives you a little buffer before it gets on there, which is a pretty cool little feature in this drive right here. And like I said, this is meant to go internally. It definitely feels real sturdy. Let's look at the back side. And then of course on the back side, like 
standard for a drive these days. It's made out of like a hard plastic and you can see the circuit board back here. And that's where your connectors are. That's where your SATA connectors are. And then it has also a connector for your power. Now you don't have to use these drives strictly for internal. You can get a case for it, an external case they call it. And then the external case will have a connector right here where you can connect it to the case, put it in the case, and then the external side of the case will have a connector on the outside of it as well. So you don't have to put it inside your computer. You can use it as an external drive, which happens to be the case for this drive. I usually use it in an enclosure, which you can buy that you can put on these drives and use it as an external drive. Once you put it in the enclosure, the enclosure has a connector on it, sort of like this, and you will connect the cable from that enclosure which looks like this and it would go out from there and you connect that cable into one of your ports on your desktop tower it would have a connector on the other side so you connect the cable and out from the cable it will connect to the connector in your desktop computer so that way you don't have to put it inside your computer you could leave it outside externally so again this is the Seagate Barracuda SATA drive and it has a SATA connector on it and it's a SATA 7200 RPM drive so again if you want pretty reasonably priced drive and again it's not a solid state it's got a the spinning disc on it so it's just a regular hard drive this is a pretty good one to get and like I said it's made by Seagate and this one happens to be model ST3000, D as in David, M as in Mary, 008. So pick one up and enjoy it.